number 10 is asking us, uh, how do you find the square root of 324? So square root of 324. So when we talk about the square root here, we're talking about the symbol here, right? The symbol here denotes the square root of 324, and 324 just sticks on the inside here. So in order for us to calculate uh, the square root of 324, what we're gonna do is we, we use this concept of prime factorization. We're gonna take out all the prime factors of 324. So let's do that. So we have 324 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the two here first, right? So 324, I take out the two because I know it's an even number, right? So I'm going to take out a root two here and I'm going to do 324 divided by two here. So 324 divided by two would be, let me just do a little side note here. 324 divided by two here. I have a one here, two times one here is two. Three minus one here is one, three down two. Two times six is 12. Uh, minus zero, and then two times two is four, right? And I get four, this would be zero. So you get 162. So this would be root 162. Don't worry about, don't worry about the side work here. Let me just erase this. I just need to find out what, what that is. If you didn't have a calculator, obviously. If you have a calculator, just punch this in, and you get the uh, the the 162 here. Saves you some time. And then 162, I'm going to break this even further. I'm going to take out another root 2 here because I know it's an even number. Take out, taking out the root 2 here is I have 2 times what number equals 16? Well, 2 times 8 here equals 16, and then 2 times 1 here equals 2, right? So I'm going to have root of 81. And then now I have root 2 times root 2 times. I have root of 81 here. Now root of 81 here is not even, so I'm going to have to go up a number here. I'm going to go up to 3. And a general rule here, here is I know a number is divisible by 3 if its digit adds up and it's also divisible by 3. So 8 plus 1 here equals 9. 9 is indeed divisible by 3. So I can say that this here is divisible by 3. So I can take out a root 3 here. And then I'm going to multiply that one by 81 divided by 3 here. So again, I'm doing some side work here. 3 times 2 here is 6. The 8 minus 6 here is 2. Bring down the 1. Um, this here is 7, right? So this here is root 27 here, because 21 minus 21. That's awesome. So I can now do the same thing again. I have root 3 now times. I get 27 here is divisible by 3, right? So I know that this here equals root 3 times root 9. 3 times 9 here is 27, right? And then finally, what I can do is I can simplify this out, right? As you can see, root 2 times root 2 here gives me root 4. Root 3 times root here gives me root 9 times root 9, right? So these are great. And then what I can do now is I can say that this here equals root 4 here equals 2 times root 9 here equals 3 times root 9 here also equals 3. This here is 2 times 3 here is 6 times 3, which equals our final answer is... 18. So 18, 18 here is the square root of 324. And as you can see, this here is correct, right? Or what's more correct would be plus or minus 18 here, which is actually great because plus 18 and minus 18 would also give me the same answer here. So solution here is correct. Again, they did something that's uh, kind of the same thing as I did with prime factorization. Um, I just wrote it out differently, but that's totally fine. Um, but this here is also the correct answer as well. So plus or minus 18 here is the correct answer. Solution is correct. Good analysis here.